In our modern developed world, the desire to consume is absolutely central to our social, political and especially our economic existence. The ability to choose from an almost infinite variety of products and services designed to make our comfortable lives, well, more comfortable. But although most manufacturers are making an effort to make products that require less energy to function, function is only a small part of a product's true environmental footprint. Picking actually one product, uh, one stage in a product life cycle, such as usage, putting all the emphasis into that area is not going to make a difference because you may be generating actually a huge environmental impact in other part of the, um, you know, or other stages of the product life cycle. Dr. Sammy Kara from the University of New South Wales School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering is a leader in what's known as life cycle engineering a new approach to designing and manufacturing products that takes the idea of reduce, reuse and recycle to an entirely new level. People don't know actually what's happening. What they see actually is the tip of the iceberg. You buy the product, you use it, and if it's a car, you actually sell it to another person and then the product disappears from your life. Okay, responsibility finishes there. Steel is one of the most recycled resources on the planet. But the energy needed to melt it down and refabricate it is massive. In the ultimate life cycle scenario, steel components won't be recycled. They will be built in a way that enables them to be reused. Products will be designed with both fabrication and easy dismantling built into the cost and approach minimising waste and energy use from the first inception to final disposal. You could actually take a perfectly sustainable material and then turn that into actually an unsustainable product. Dr. Kara's task is both massive and complex, combining material science with economics, engineering and the trickiest of all, society. Sustainability is actually a multi-dimensional concept. You've got to have the social, economic and environmental sustainability. It's, it's like a table with three legs. Okay, without either of those, it won't actually stand. Manufacturers today have the luxury of choosing how they make their products and what they make them from. But in the future, things may well be different. As the costs of our finite resources continue to climb, so too will the cost of waste.